hola amigos, ¿cómo están? Yo soy el señor Hernández. ¿Y tú? ¿Cómo te llamas? What's your name? Muy bien. ¿Qué desayunaron hoy? What do you have for breakfast today? Yo desayuné huevos con tomate y queso. I had eggs with tomato and egg. cheese. Delicioso, amigos. Muy buenos días, amigos. Hoy voy a desayunar huevo. Today I'm going to eat for breakfast eggs, huevos, con tomate, with tomato. Look at the tomatoes here. Tomates con huevos. Huevos con tomate. Eggs with tomatoes. Delicioso. Le pongo un poco de queso. Now I put some cheese. Queso. Delicioso. Y para completar... Mis huevos con una banana. So, to finish it up, I eat my eggs with a banana. Huevos con banana. Muy saludable. It's very healthy. Muy bien, amigos. Hey, amigos. So, this is just a friendly reminder that this is my YouTube channel where you can find all the lessons. If you go to playlist, you find all the playlists uh, based on the units that we have uh, talked about. Um, now, when you click on one of the video, for example, this is the last one, this is about food. So, when you click, make sure you go here where it says show more. In this way, you can get the link for the worksheet, the flashcards vocabulary from Quizlet, the song that we do at the beginning of the video, and these are just a couple games from the same website so you can have fun and reinforce vocabulary. Okay, now I'll suggest you to click on the subscribe button. Well, I don't see it here course because I am the owner of the channel but you should get around here you should get a subscribe uh, button so you will know uh, when I'll be uploading the next video so make sure you go to show more and in that way you can get all the, um, the links you have to listen to the same words over and over as many times as you can. So, let's review the vocabulary. Are you guys ready? Ba, 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 mo. Breakfast. Okay, so what is that in Spanish? Desayuno. Desayuno. Muy bien. Lunch. Almuerzo. 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 Dinner. Cena. 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 Bread. Bread. Pan. 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 So when do you usually eat pan? Cuando comes pan usualmente. En el desayuno. During breakfast, right? Egg. Egg. Huevo. 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 Pancakes. Panqueques. Panqueques. You can tell that this word is sort of a, a child from the English word. Pancakes. Pronunciation is kind of similar. Panqueques. Milk. Leche. 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 Cheese. Queso. Queso. Mm. Queso. Me encanta el queso. Butter. Mantequilla. 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 Rice. Arroz. 
Arroz. Arroz. Arroz. Soup. Sopa. 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 Chicken. Pollo. 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 Beef. Carne. 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 Beans. Frijoles. 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 Mm. Me encantan frijoles. Juice. Jugo. 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 So this looks like, like orange juice, right? This is the orange. So if you know that orange is naranja, this is what? This is jugo de naranja. Jugo de naranja in Spanish. Jugo. Sandwich. Sandwich. Sanduche. Sanduche. This is kind of the same like pancakes and pancakes, right? So you can find the similarities in the two languages. Sanduche. Salad. Salad. Ensalada. Ensalada. This is another one. Here is the English part. Ensalada. See, salad. In Spanish is ensalada. Spaghetti. Spaghetti. Well, this is an Italian word. So, in Spanish is Espaguetis. Espaguetis. Pronunciation similar, but spelling different. Hamburger. Hamburger. Hamburguesa. Hamburguesa. Hot dog. Perro caliente. Perro caliente. Mm. Tacos. Tacos. Mm, delicioso. Burrito. Burrito. Chicken enchiladas. Enchiladas de pollo. Mmm, delicioso. Enchiladas de pollo. Mmm. Oh my God. Dios mío, tengo hambre. I'm hungry. Pizza. Pizza. Pupusas. Pupusas. You see, pupusas are similar to arepas. Arepas. So I think pupusas is just a name they give it in a different. Latin country, like in Central America, they call it pupusas. pupusas. And in South America, they're more uh, known as arepas. Arepas. They're basically they're basically made of corn, and um, sometimes you can stuff uh, stuff things inside, like cheese or or meat. Arepas. Mm, this is my favorite too. Empanadas. Empanadas. Meatballs. Albondigas. Albondigas. Let's listen to that again. Albondigas. Albondigas. Dessert. Mm. Postre. Postre. Ice cream. Helado. Helado. Cake. Torta. Torta. Muy bien, amigos. Okay, continuamos en la página 4. We continue on page 4 of the worksheet. So, in this part, you have to escribe el nombre de cada fruta. Write the name of each fruit on the knee. Okay. So, in order to do this one, you can go back here and um, check on this exercise okay so just write the name underneath for example these are cerezas so here you will write cerezas this is manzana right la manzana right here what is this watermelon right in spanish is la sandía la sandía okay I will drop on the YouTube video a link for flashcards about fruit. So more specific about fruit. So you can verify the information in there. Okay, so after you finish with that, let's go to page five. 
¿Te gusta estas frutas? Do you like these fruits? Escribe me gusta, that means I like. No me gusta es I don't like. So, la mora. I can say me gusta. I like mora. These are berries. Sandía, me gusta. La naranja, me gusta. La pera, me gusta. El mango, me gusta. El aguacate, me gusta. I like everything. <laughs> so, but in your case, if you don't like something, you can say, no me gusta. Like, for example, some of you might not like avocado, aguacate, so you can say, no me gusta. Okay? Now, this is a grammar tip. If the thing is singular, uh, I mean, if it's plural, you can you add an and at the end. So, for example, you can say, no me gustan, with an N at the end. All right? I'm going to write it down for you. All right, so let's see. So, if we're talking about, let's wait for this to open. If we're talking about, for example, naranjas which is plural because you see the S here. So here, this will be, in English will be oranges. So I have to say, me gustan las naranjas, because it's plural here. And then I have to use the N here. Now, if there was uh, only one naranja, I say, me gusta la naranja. See, I'm not putting the end here because it's singular. The same case with no me gusta. If you say you don't like, you just add a no at the beginning. No me gustan las naranjas or no me gusta la naranja. Okay, so that's just a little bit of a grammar tip. Okay, so here there is an exercise where you can check if you understood the grammar tip. Now, which objects here, which fruits can you see in plural? The ones that you see an S at the end. Kiwi, does it have an S at the end? No, right? Uvas, grapes, uvas, yes. So in this line, you are gonna have to write me gustan with the N at the end, or no me gustan. All right, so you do the rest. Just try to find the ones with the S's at the end or without the S, you just don't add the N in me gusta o no me gusta. Let's talk about different verbs. So, me encanta o me encantan is I love. For example, I love oranges. Me encantan las naranjas. So, let's write it here so you, you can copy this down. Me encanta. Cantan is I love. Remember, with the end or without the end, depending on the object, if it's singular or plural. Me encanta. What's the next one? Me gusta mucho. Me gusta mucho. I like very much. So I like apples very much. I like fruit, uh, oranges very much. Me gusta mucho las naranjas. Okay. Put this in the case so we can write more. Good. So what's the 
the next one me gusta me gusta is I like very simple no me gusta is I don't like mm, what's wrong with me okay so you can copy this down in your notebooks so you know what they mean these phrases mean all right you can always also figure out by the face of the kid you know like here it's like he's not happy because he doesn't like it okay now let's do a little bit of a reading hola can read with me and I'm gonna be translating for you okay hola me llamo tapón hi my name is tapón tengo siete años I am seven years old soy de México y vivo en Madrid I am from Mexico and I live in Madrid me gustan casi todas las frutas I like almost all fruits all kinds of fruits pero hay alguna fruta que no me gusta but there are some fruits that I don't like. Me gusta la sandía. I like watermelon. Me gusta mucho el mango. I like mango very much. Me encantan las uvas. I love grapes. Pero no me gustan las ciruelas. But I don't like plums. All right, so now, it says here, escribe tu párrafo parecido al de tapón. So you're going to use, you're going to write a paragraph, a small paragraph like this, similar to tapón's. Using the verbs, me gusta, I like, me gusta mucho, I like very much, me encanta, I love, and I don't like, no me gusta. Acuérdate de añadir N si utilizas plural. Remember to use N here if you're using plural in the fruit, in the name of the fruit. All right, so this is your little homework. If you could, just take a picture of it or your parents take a picture of it and send it to me through my email or through class time. Okay, amigos, ha sido todo por hoy. This is it for today. Espero que hayan aprendido mucho español. I hope that you learned a lot of Spanish today. Y recuerden, deben practicar su español todos los días. Remember to practice your Spanish every day. Muy bien. Adiós. Hasta la próxima. Chao, chao.